It's a pretty amazing thing, the bond that exists between humans and dogs. There's nothing quite like it. There's also a devotion that dogs have to us that is extremely unique. You don't find it, I don't think, in any other relationship. The dog that will follow you to the end of the earth, it's something so special. And I feel that we have a responsibility in receiving that to be able to take care of them and be responsible for them. We're out here making the decisions for them. They're following us. We need to do our best job to take care of them as they do us. I do a lot of training in this environment and I love to take my dogs with me while training. And we've covered literally thousands of miles in these Colorado mountains, training and, and just recreating too, backcountry skiing, trail running, all those types of things. So it's really from that experience with gear and mountaineering and gear needs that I've found kind of lack for dogs here in this environment that uh, led me down this path after the accident I had with my dog Remy. We had a rescue at 13,000 feet, um, a very large German Shepherd, about 100 pounds. Fido Pro airlift was essential in us getting the dog off the mountain because we were able to take turns individually across the difficult terrain until we could get him to a safer area where we could all rig up a new system. If we didn't have the sling, we probably would have been up there all night waiting for a next team to come up with a litter. And then it would have been a very long process of babying him down and trying to safely get our team members carrying the litter with the dog inside as well. The accident I had with my dog uh, was about seven years ago. We were backcountry skiing in Colorado. We were in a remote area above tree line and I collided with my dog. I just barely bumped into her as I was skiing downhill, cut her leg to the bone. She was bleeding badly, so I was horrified and I felt incredibly irresponsible. And it really had an impact on me that I didn't have a plan to get my dog out of there. Fortunately, I was able to stuff her in my ski pack. She barely fit, but I got her out. As soon as she started to heal, I knew I needed to find something that I could carry with me that I could extract her from the wilderness if she got hurt again. Yeah, so Phytopro is a company that builds innovative dog products inspired by necessity. And that is a true statement. I needed a product, the airlift, after the accident with Remy. I looked, none existed, so I invented this. And even though the airlift fits in a small stuff sack and weighs nine ounces, it still takes up space in my little running pack. So I designed a harness that the dog wears called the Ponza harness. It has a deployable rescue sling built into it. It also has space so the dog can carry their kit with them, like their collapsible bowl, their first aid kit and other essentials. And it has some protective elements. So that's the side of the line right now that is kind of allows the person to self rescue their dog if it becomes sick or injured. I designed a leash. It's a double bungee leash that has an extendable length of webbing to get the dog further out in front of you. Hands free leash and all those things just make it safer for you and the dog when you're both traveling across difficult terrain. It's important I think for the public to be aware that search and rescue members, we love what we do, we love to help people, we love to help dogs, but it's also we're not officially allowed to rescue animals. Um, we do get permission from the sheriff's office for certain special circumstances. So we want the public to know that yes, you can call search and rescue and if we are available, we will come. I just wanna impress the importance of being prepared in the backcountry with your dog and having something like the Fido Pro in your pack to self rescue for when we cannot be there for you. As a professional in the field, it is a huge benefit to have a product like this that you can securely safely, comfortably carry your dog out, and particularly with just one person. That's significant. We have a patent, a U.S. utility patent, on the Fido Pro airlift. It's important to us because even though we want to get these out to the world, we want to make sure that we're not being copied in a way that people are making cheap knockoffs of our product that won't function and work as well as ours. The Fido Pro slings work for a huge variety of dog owners. And it doesn't matter if you're in an area like this, you know, we're kind of deep in the woods right now, or walking through your local nature preserve after work. We get a lot of people that come home at say six o'clock, they grab their dog and they go for a walk on the local nature preserve trail. And if you get a mile from the trailhead or more, and your dog gets sick or injured or just refuses to walk, you're gonna have a problem. So it really is a wide variety of people that can use these and benefit from our products, not just the hardcore enthusiasts.
One of the taglines that we use as a company is be the hero when your dog needs you most. And that's really what the company is all about. It's what our products are all about. And, and it's why I founded Fido Pro. The accident I had with my dog, I didn't want anyone to ever have to go through that. It was extremely traumatic and I felt so irresponsible and I just wanted to solve that problem. And, and I feel like with the airlift and the Ponza harness, we've done that. We've given the masses the ability to self-rescue their dog if they have an accident with them. And we want to be the hero when our dog needs us most. They give us so much and they deserve that back from us. Stay safe on the trail. Don't leave home without the gear that gives you the confidence to explore with your canine companion. Be the hero when your dog needs you most.